Two weeks into the legislative session and one bill that could define what teachers can and can't talk about inside their classrooms moved forward this week while another one may have stalled out. It is getting national attention, but it's far from the only intersection of education and politics at the State House this session. Our Ray Steele takes a look in this week's State House Roundup. When it comes to talking about Nazis in public, our political insider Abdul Hakim Shabazz has some advice. Shut up and stop talking. Exactly. Unless you talk about the producers in springtime for Hitler, then Nazis are funny. Those comments on the teaching of Nazism from Republican State Senator Scott Baldwin that went viral? We need to be impartial. Comments for which he has apologized multiple times may have doomed the state Senate's version of a bill that critics say would restrict an honest discussion of this country's complicated history in school classrooms. Senate Bill 167 is on hold for now, but the House version of the bill is still moving forward. It passed out of committee this week. The bill was amended to remove a requirement for teachers to place every daily lesson plan online. But some parents are still not happy. They say they don't mind the ugly parts of our country's history being taught to their children. How could you attempt to create a law that tells my son's teachers they cannot teach how systemic racism has negatively impacted societies of color in Indiana and the nation to this day. Where does it stop? There's another bill that critics say injects politics into education that isn't getting quite as much attention as the what you can and can't teach bill. Republican Representative J.D. Prescott of Union City introduced a bill that would require school board candidates to call themselves Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, or Independents on the ballot. Right now, all school board races in Indiana are nonpartisan. It isn't clear yet how much widespread support there is for that proposal. With State House Roundup, Ray Steele, WRTV. Indiana House Republicans are also moving forward with a measure to limit vaccine mandates by private employers. House Bill 1001 would force businesses with vaccine mandates to grant employees medical or religious exemptions. The full House is expected to vote on it on Tuesday.